Hello everyone. Welcome back to the last part of tracing changes through a thousand years. In this particular chapter, we are going to deal with regions and empires, old and new religious ideas, and finally time and historical periods. So let us start with our first topic, which is regions and empires. So you must be aware of the Mughals, the Cholas, the Delhi Sultans, and so on. So the large states of these Mughals, Cholas captured many regions. That is, the rulers tried to capture many areas and expand their own kingdom. We have one of the famous Delhi Sultans, Giyasuddin Balban, who expanded his empire from Bengal to Ghazni in Afghanistan. Yes, it is mentioned in one of the Sanskrit prashastis. Now, can you think what a prashasti is? Do you remember? A prashasti is a written record about a certain ruler, ruler or an emperor about his bravery, his courage, his valor. Sometimes it would be an exaggerated statement. So, even about Giyasuddin Balban, the statement that he expanded his empire from Bengal to Ghazni is a bit exaggerated. It is also mentioned in the Prashasti that people from different areas of Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat could not defeat Giyasuddin Balban's army. They surrendered before his armies. So, Giyasuddin was successful in expanding his empire in different regions of the subcontinent. And this spreading and expanding of the kingdom into different areas or regions is known as the Pan-Regional Empire. Now, as we know that there were different people who invaded our country or our subcontinent, Everyone was not able to bin, build an empire which was a pan-regional one. Some emperors or rulers were successful, were stable and some were not. So, we would be studying about those particular emperors or rulers in the next chapters. Now, let us just take a look about what were the old and new religious ideas. Now we are exploring the thousand years of history where we have seen there were technological changes, technological developments, some food beverages coming to our, our country, certain ideas which helped in changing the social and economical aspects of our subcontinent. So was the religious traditions. So there were developments in the particular religion as well. People's belief in the divine was sometimes deeply personal, but more usually it was collective. So people used to come together to worship to the deities, to offer prayers and so on. So religion was often closely connected with the social and economic organization of the local communities. So when the society started changing, these groups also started changing along with the beliefs. Some important changes which occurred in the Hinduism include the worship of new deities. As people were categorized into different castes and subcastes, they started having or worshipping different gods and goddesses. Earlier, as they were forest dwellers, they used to worship the natural forces. But now, they started worshipping certain idols according to their particular communities. The next, the construction of temples by the royalties. Now these temples were constructed by the emperors or the kings in order to show their wealth and prosperity for security of their treasury and also to give employment for certain people living around that particular temples. 
नेक्स्ट वॉज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द ब्राह्मण्स और द प्रीस्ट क्लास द ब्राह्मण्स बिकेम अ डोमिनेंट ग्रुप ऑफ द सोसाइटी इट वॉज लाइक दे वर अलाउड टू लर्न द संस्कृत टेक्स्ट और टू रीड द वेदास एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉलेज गेव दम रिस्पेक्ट इन द सोसाइटी देर पोजिशन वॉज डोमिनेंट एंड दे वर ऑल्सो सपोर्टेड बाय द पैटर्न्स नाउ वॉट इज अ पैटर्न अ पैटर्न इज एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल वेल्दी इंडिविजुअल हु सपोर्ट्स अनादर पर्सन लाइक एन आर्टिस्ट अ क्राफ्ट पर्सन और अ लर्न मैन और नोबल सो दीज पैटर्न्स जनरली हेल्प्ड ब्राह्मण्स और आर्टिस्ट और क्राफ्ट पर्सन बाय रिवॉर्डिंग दैम विथ मनी विच वुड हेल्प दैम टू वर्क बेटर the next and the last is the emergence of ideas of bhakti which means the person could worship a loving personal deity without the help of any brahmin priest and without performing any elaborate rituals so about this bhakti movement or emergence of the idea of bhakti we would learn in the chapter number 8 that is in devotional paths in detail now one more change during this period that appeared was the teachings of the holy quran was brought to india in the 7th century by certain merchants and migrants from the arab and middle east regions what did the quran tell and what is quran so now quran is the holy book of the muslims and it is said that they accept the sovereignty of the one god that is allah whose love mercy and bounty embrace all those who believe in him without regards to their social backgrounds so the quran tells that allah never makes discrimination on the basis of your social background his love and mercy does not need any social backgrounds he is treating everyone equally now we have interpreted hinduism in a variety of ways by its followers similarly it was into islam so there were two sects in the islam the shia muslims and the sunni muslims now who are these shia muslims the shia muslims were the followers of prophet muhammad's son in law ali or they thought that ali was the legitimate leader of the muslim community who were the sunnis sunnis muslims were the muslims who accepted the authority of the earlier leaders khalifas of the community that is they accepted or believed in prophet muhammad they also had certain schools of laws in india known as the hanafi and the shafi so this is all about the different changes which took place in the religious aspects in our society let us go towards the last part of our chapter which is about time and historical periods now we know that many people study this particular past or the pasts we can say so these historians never see time as the passing days years weeks and so on they are not dependent on a clock or a calendar whereas they see changes in the economy conditions and social aspects transformation of ideas and beliefs and so according to that they have divided the past into large segments or different periods if you remember we have done the different periods of history in the first video that is the ancient history medieval history and the modern history 
Now later in the middle of the 19th century the british historians also divided the indian history into three parts hindu muslim and british now this division was based on the religion of the rulers and was the only important historical change during the medieval period there was no other significant development in economic society or culture so the this kind of division also ignored our rich diversity now few few historians also followed this particular periodization today but many of them took into consideration the economic and social factors as the major elements of different moments of the past now it is said that the modern period of history is often contrasted with the medieval period like describing the entire medieval period as one historical unit is not without its problem that means even in the medieval period there were n number of problems but according to some historians it is said that the medieval period of history was without material and intellectual advancement but as we have read earlier in we have seen in the earlier videos that there was an n number of or variety of developments taking place during this particular medieval period and so the one who says that the modern period shows more progress and intellectual advancement is not true so equally as in the medieval period there were certain technological developments or certain things started changing during the medieval period were also equally important as they were in the modern period of history now the next part is a quick recap that we have covered in this particular chapter we started with what is history divisions of history later we have seen the terms cartography and cartographer we have made a comparative study about the maps made by al idrisi and giuliama di isle we have seen how the meanings of certain terms changed over a period of time then we have studied about sources of history new social and political groups certain technologies foods beverages groups of people jatis economic political and cultural changes then we moved on to regions and empires followed by old and new religions and finally time and historical periods now after we have completed all the videos the task for you is you will read the lesson thoroughly and complete the notes that are sent to you in your class work after completion of notes you are going to thoroughly revise the chapter and then solve the worksheet which i will be sending you if you have any doubts about the chapter kindly make a note of it so that we can discuss those once we meet this is all from me about this particular chapter thank you have a nice day and stay healthy take care of yourselves